So in this particular case, you can see on the pump we're collecting the suction value in terms of the suction pressure, the discharge pressure. Based on the difference between them and the temperature of the fluid and the flow rate, we calculate the total dynamic head, the flow rate in gallons per minute. We're also looking at vibration values, in this case on the bearing housing here, looking at vibration values in the X, Y, and Z dimensions. We're looking at the temperature of the mechanical seal, and because we're calculating, well, we're measuring the three-phase power consumption of the motor, we can tell you what the total power consumption is and the voltage and current available. More importantly, based on all of this, we can actually calculate where the pump is operating under its design efficiency point. Every single one of these assets, when they were originally manufactured for the customer, were designed to hit a certain efficiency. Now, as actual process conditions change, the pump falls off that point. And when it falls off that point, it by necessity is consuming more energy than it needs to. So here we provide a really handy indication of whether or not you're operating. BEP stands for best efficiency point. And then of course, based on all of this information, we predict, well, how long is it gonna take for the mechanical seal to fail, the impeller to fail, or the bearing to fail, okay? And, and that's the, the key that the end user needs to know.